and it's going to be a close for the Nifty below 19,100. A cut of 56 points. Not a big sell-off per se, considering that we had a 300-point rally over the last two trading sessions. So today we've given up 50, 60 odd points, but it's uh, you know a bit disappointing considering where the Nifty started trade. The Nifty had started trade above that 19,200 mark. Banks sold off. Today is also the Fin Nifty weekly expiry. And post 3M, we had a sharp sell off in the banking names. The Nifty Bank was down 200 points with names like ICICI Bank, Indusind Bank, Axis Bank, HDFC Bank retreating a fair bit. Reliance Industries, the star in yesterday's trade, was up more than 2%, 2-2.5% yesterday. It's given up about 1% of that. Autos too, on the back foot ahead of auto sales numbers tomorrow. Gainers include SBI Live, Titan, HDFC Live, Asian Paints. In fact, a bit of a decline in crude prices boded well for Asian Paints and Pity Light. But Nigel, no complaints about the broader markets, yeah. right? I think today it goes home as a day where the mid-caps outperformed. Well, indeed, portfolios actually will feel good because the breadth of the markets were good. The mid-cap index was up 4 tenths of a percent. Small cap index as well, plenty of stocks did well. Pull up a few names. Arvind was up 10%. You had Pyramid Pharma that was up close to around 9%. It had followed through buying. Results were good, commentary was good, and we had a large trade as well. The power finance companies, PFC and REC, both of them flying away up 3.5% apiece. OG1 Small Finance Bank, yesterday took a bit of a knock, today it popped up in trade. On Vodafone Idea, there is still hope that maybe, in fact, they can come up with that money and, uh, you know, the, they can, uh, you know, the funding plan will fall in place. So that's another stock that did pretty well in today's trading session. Inox win, that's the one where we saw a large trade, more than 10% equity changing hands. As the promoter entity told us, that Inox wind energy, that's the one that's going to be delevering its balance sheet. So that's the reason why that large trade took place. So that was one stock that was under pressure. Suzlon as well pulled back closer to around the 30 rupee odd mark. But all in all, it was a good session actually. Uh, the headline index goes home with the cut of around 50 points. The bank nifty was under pressure. That's because HDFC and ICSA Bank, both of them ended in the red. But otherwise, Rima, a good session. Breath of the market good. Portfolios feel good. More number of stocks advancing than declining stocks. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We won't wrap up just yet on closing bell. We'll slip into a very short break. We'll come back and get you more news and updates. So the day's not done, right? There are so many earnings to track. You've got LNT, Bharti, Tata Consumer. So in the next 30 minutes, we'll get you up to speed on what to expect from these large boys too.